What's up nerds, Winstreak here. Today's game is super simple. We're just going to click and kill our character here. And we have three different types of text here. And today we're going to be adding a shadow or background uh, to the text. And I have the three different types of text to show how each of them works. So the first one's going to be our game over text here. And this one's... Uh, and this one, the only thing we do is fade it in. Nothing with the text ever changes. So this one's super simple. We're just going to right click and copy and right click paste. And then we just want to slightly offset these. And then we'll go ahead and change the color of our top one. And then depending on what you're going for, you can select the other one and change the Z order. But I like the white on top better, so we'll do it that way. And we are done with that one. So we're going to hide this layer and go back to layer 0. And then we'll work with our character's HP. And this one has a little bit of code that goes into it. Essentially on click, we know they're going to die, so we just set it to 0. And the cool part about this is right click, copy, paste. And you can also use hotkeys, so I can control C, control V and paste it on there. I'm going to use my keyboard here to get it where I want it. Since we copy pasted it, uh, these are both text underscore HP HUDs. So that one line of code will affect both of these at the same time. Now this last piece of code is uh, the most complex one. So this one will take a little bit of extra work, but we're going to start out with right clicking and cloning the object. Now what this does is actually creates a whole new object, but it copies all of the behaviors and um, properties of the original. And again, we're going to change this color here. And then now in our code, whenever we create the first one, we want to do kind of the same thing with the second one. So we're going to do a create object. And we can either do this based off of our first one, which makes the most sense to me. Or we can do it based off of our player, which is what we did the first one off of. Um, but I'm going to do the based off of our other text damage. So we want the X and the Y of it, and then we're going to move it over three. So that'll just skew it three pixels. And the last bit we want, we want to pin this. Then we don't have to worry about all the move to stuff. So we're going to add that behavior. Oops. And then we'll go ahead and pin that to the other object. And then the last bit we need for this is after we set the value to our text, we want to set the value of the other one to the same. So we'll do that with set text. And we'll set that text to the other values text. And we just make sure that's underneath our original set text. So here we go. Everything now has shadow text. Hopefully you guys find this useful. Comments, questions, concerns, throw them below. Otherwise, peace.